in this video i'm going to discuss about the buck converter so which is uh, basically dc to dc converter and in this video i will be covering all the aspects of the buck converter and also i will be covering the wiring diagram for this buck converter and at the end of this video i will also show you some real application that can be used with this buck converter so if you look on this so let me explain the basic inputs and output on this buck converter so this is my input side where i will be hooking up my power supply the dc power supply and this is my output side where i will be getting the variable output voltage for my different application and this one the in and out button it shows it shows the in power input if i press it again it shows you the power output that is being delivered through these two terminals and on off switch is just to shut it down make it like on and off and cv is for the adjustment of the uh, voltage so whatever is my desired voltage needed for application i can turn this potentiometer up or down and achieve that voltage and cc is to set the uh, amperage set point okay without further delay let's get into the wiring of this a buck converter so in order to power up this buck converter i'm using this dc power supply so this will supply me 24 volt of dc as output and these are the two terminals from coming from this power supplies over here so this red wire is my positive and the white is negative so i'm going to hook up the uh, positive to the positive of this buck converter and negative to the negative of this buck converter so i'm going to use the gray wire as a positive and i will take this wire and hook up to my positive terminal over here now i will take my blue wire and make it as a negative and i will connect this negative wire to the negative terminal of my dc power supply and also i will be using the multimeter just to verify the voltage on the output terminals just to check it matches with the real output shown on this display so let's power it up and see what comes up now i power up this device i can see the voltage is set on 5 volts which is being given on these output terminals so let's verify with the multimeter like we're getting the real 5 volt dc output on this side so this is my multimeter i put it on dc mode and check it out yes so the display shows uh, 5 volt and my multimeter is also reading the exact same voltage so which is perfectly working fine now from this 5 voltage let's say i have an application that needs some more than 5 voltage to run or operate i can just go on this potentiometer this tiny potentiometer cv and turn it up as i turn it up you can see the voltage keep on rising rising and rising now let me demonstrate with the real life application let's say if i have uh, this led here and i want to power up this led with this buck converter if i look on the voltage on this led it need 24 volts to operate right so it's written here now in order to run it on 24 volts i'm going to match this voltage up to 24 volts i have to turn this up and keep on moving up so whenever it reaches 24 i will just stop there and uh, power up my led 
and see if it lights up. All right, we're pretty good there. So 24 volts. Now let me power up this LED by hooking up to the output of this terminal. So let me hook up this LED to these terminals and my gray wire is on the positive on the on the LED terminal and blue is on the negative. So my positive gray wire is going to be on the out positive of this and negative gray wire is going to be the out negative on this terminal over here. Before I hook up the wires, let me shut down the main power. So everything is shuts off. There you go. Now let me hook up the wires for the LED. So I hook up the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative and let's power it at back. Yes, so my LED comes on. So now this LED needs 24 volts to operate and you see here the amperage is 0, 0.00. So this LED draws like a milliamps of voltage which is 32 milliamp. That's why I'm not able to see any reading on this amperage section over here. So now I will give you another example. So I will be using this same board to charge up my mobile phone, right? So for the mobile phones, I need the DC voltage to be five volts because the charger operates on the five volts of DC. So I will lower down the potentiometer to match up to the five volts. Then I will hook up the mobile charger and see if our mobile charger is working with the same board. So let me shut down the power again one time. Disconnect my LED. Power it back again. Now I will turn my voltage down to 5 volt DC. You can see the voltage is dropping down. Yes. So now the voltage is 5 volt on this section over here. I will turn off the output just by pressing the switch. And you can see the voltage is slowly dropping down. And it will go to the zero after some time because there is an inductor that stores the energy and drops slowly. So let me bring the mobile charger. I'm just using my Wi-Fi, uh, wireless, sorry, I'm using my wireless mobile charger because my mobile charging pin is not working great. So I will be hooking up the uh, USB-C cable. So I made the one by just cutting it and I will be using the red and black wire. If the red wire is for the positive five volts and the black is for the ground. So I will hook up these two wires first. So black will go to the negative and uh, red will go to the positive. And these two are for the data transfer, so I don't need them. I will just use these two cables. So after hooking up the wires, now let me turn it on. So my output goes up to the 5 volt DC. I turn it on. The green LED comes on. It shows me the output as a 5 volt DC. I can again verify with my multimeter just to make sure I'm getting the 5 volts as a DC output. Yes, the reading is matching with the this display value, so which is 5 volts. Now I'm going to hook up this USB cable to my wireless charger and let's see if the phone charge starts working. Yes, there you go. So the phone is charging. So my the phone is char start charges working now. And you can see the amperage on this screen start going up. So this means these are the amperage being drawn with the, this charger on the phone. 
and i won't recommend to use this device as a mobile charger because it won't shut off the uh, output and it may damage the phone but in the new phone there is a uh, new technology which detects if the battery is powered up full it automatically shuts off the charging but not every phone have this technology like the old versions so i won't recommend to use this as a mobile charger this is just for the application illustration purpose so that's all about the uh, buck converter and you can see with the same device i was able to use it for the 5 voltage and i was able to use for up to 24 voltage so if you have any variable dc application that require different kinds of the voltage you can use this single device otherwise i have to buy a 5 voltage power supply separate for this phone or 24 volt power supply separately for the another device so this little device will do the job as so long as that's all about the buck converter i hope you like this video if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment thank you for watching